Well, to understand depression, we really have to understand that depression is in fact a word. It's a word used to describe a set of emotions and behavioural characteristics that are often experienced by a person as deeply painful. These may include a sense of meaninglessness, a loss of interest, a lack of motivation, and at the more extreme end, a sense that life may be no longer worth living. So what are we to make of these experiences? Well, since the 1980s, uh, one tradition has taught us that these experiences point to the existence of some kind of internal dysfunction that needs to be treated, usually by way of psychiatric medication. This idea is most common in the notion of the chemical imbalance theory of depression. The idea that depression is caused by a deficiency in the neurotransmitter serotonin that psychiatric medications are thought to correct. The important thing about this theory, however, is that it has yet to be scientifically substantiated, which is why the majority of mental health professionals today no longer consider it to be a viable explanation as to why a person may suffer from what we call depression. So how else can we understand depression? Well, there is an alternative view, a view that has a long and credible presence in the history of the mental health professions. And it's a view that states that the experiences of depression, rather than pointing to something within our biochemistry that has gone wrong, point to something within our lives that has gone wrong, our behavioural, social, uh, psychological lives, something that our suffering is protesting against, so to speak. So from the standpoint of this alternative view of suffering, we inevitably um, become very interested in what may be contributing to it, less asking what is wrong with you than asking what has happened to you, or what is continuing to happen to you to make you feel such distress. And it's by asking these more exploratory questions that we may learn that depression, in many instances, is in fact a call to address something that needs our attention, a call to change. Change that we aim to facilitate in a positive way through the therapeutic relationship. <music>